This unmanned drone is a familiar sight over the skies of Afghanistan, but in a few days it will be headed to hurricane country, the warm waters of the tropical Atlantic. This drone came from the Air Force to NASA. It's been fitted with a battery of sophisticated weather sensors that can peer through clouds and take vital readings of wind and pressure to improve computer models. Based out of California, the drone's mission is to remain airborne for very long periods to sniff out hurricanes in their early stages. So it's going to come up out of Dryden, fly along the U.S.-Mexico border into the Gulf, and then it'll be out for 24 hours at a time. Scientists are trying to answer some of the most vexing questions in hurricane forecasting. Why do only a small fraction of storms turn into hurricanes, and why do some hurricanes dangerously explode in strength, catching forecasters and the public off guard? Forecasters admit that while their forecast track predictions have been improving, intensity forecasts are often wrong. Ninety percent of the time, we simply don't catch the rapid intensification, so you might have the trend that it's going to intensify, but you miss the fact that it, it goes up uh, uh, 40 to 50 miles an hour in the 24-hour time frame. The drones will be part of an all-out weather squadron that will fan out to regions of the ocean where normally data is not collected, all in an effort to see if there are hidden regions or pouches that allow some thunderstorms to develop while others don't. The, the reason we're sampling the whole, the whole, the whole domain with as many aircraft is so that we can get a better idea of what these uh, embryonic systems look like. But forecasters believe that knowing the reasons why some storms are duds is just as important as studying the monster systems because it can lead to more advanced warning for the systems that do pose a threat. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Virginia Key, Florida.